Hello everybody and welcome to Cinema Trailer News. My name is Chris and this will be a review for The Rings of Power. Now The Rings of Power is an epic drama set thousands of years before the events of The Hobbit and Law of the Rings. Now I love The Law of the Rings trilogy. It's an excellent sample of great filmmaking. Now I was hesitating for the series now I saw the first trailer and I quite enjoy it and then I saw the other trailers and there was something that it wasn't fully capturing what we know from Peter Jackson's Law of the Rings trilogy now even though the Hobbit trilogy not the best but it uh, over the lies the CGI in those movies but they still have that magic and you can go back and watch those movies and love the characters and appreciate the journey they are going and even though I believe there should have been two films instead of three but now with this series you have the opportunity to expand upon the law and go back in time and introduce to us some new characters and I'll say that some characters are interesting and uh, the acting for the most part is good and it's very uh, difficult to do this because I believe that we don't want to compromise what we already love about those three Lord of the Rings films because those are one of the best trilogies ever made now I only watched the two episodes of this series so I can tell you by watching the two episodes that I watched the series is at least epic it's visually stunning and some of the characters are interesting and, uh, and I'm quite invested and interested in the show I'm curious to see where it goes so it that it have that going for it. Now my biggest fear with this series is that we're introducing a lot of stories and there are three to four distinct storylines going on and you could tell they are going to come together at one point. Uh, episode one starts with a ton of expositions where big Voice over from what I perceive to be our main character and speaking upon the great battle with the Earths in Middle Earth, setting up to get us excited for what is to come and not diving into details, but shall tell us how the war left Middle Earth ruined. Now we got a lot of things that we know as the series goes and uh, there are some inter easter eggs some uh, phrases that you may recognize especially if you are a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan and I'm not entirely sure if this is, is going to get you overly excited uh, to seen where I've seen because I'm not sure how casual fans are going to feel about this now there are a couple of things they are setting up here especially at the end of episode 2 they we're going to go on a big journey now but that's probably the biggest hesitation is that there's just a lot going on right now after two episodes and there is a big 
lack of focus with this series there's one thing that I hope it will stay away from but because there's so much going on in terms of the CGI uh, many moments throughout the first two episodes where you can kind of see they are in front of a green screen but I said that it never really compromised the experience and you can tell for most of it because it was shot on location and the beautiful set designs there's one moment where we go into the this underground south of our location where elves and dwarves are together and that for me was so incredible because it's not spectacular to look at but the attention to details on this says it's just ridiculous beyond that the score is great and it has so much to these episodes the cinematography is just establishing where we are and where these characters are located those are amazing but behind that you have the music that keep us engaged now on a technical level the series so far is great now there are two characters that i want to talk about and i try to keep it spoiler free i don't want to ruin everything and i will dive this we not giving so much detail but Collateria no way. there's also a group of doors that were semi focus on we get into introduce a bit later in episode two but those are our main two they are kind of fighting for our attention and you can tell at what point they are going to intersect and hasn't happened my curiosity in really my hesitation with this show is whether or not they are going to come together seamlessly because after two episodes you just can tell my other big hesitation with this two episodes is I haven't found that character now Goletio she, she's good and fascinating I'm so excited to see her uh, how her emotions from what happened with certain characters in her life and there's so much there with her that we haven't explored yet and we haven't been able to pick back now I just haven't found that attachment the idea with the Law of the Rings trilogy and being able to get on board with these characters immediately now again I, I only have watched the two episodes but I'm so interesting to see how they continue to build the, those characters they have established and tie all these together and they're doing a good job overall this series getting us back into middle earth and get us kind of hook into the world maybe even more the some characters i need those characters to catch up to what they have done and with the world building but again if this has to be a successful series here now i'll say the the Rings of Power episode 1 and 2 features incredible visuals and there are some strong story here and there's a lot of potential here and we glad you and some necessary exposition the, the storylines are interesting but it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on regardless the area it, it just isn't the series visually is impressive but i think it lack focus 
so I'm curious to see what happens and where the show goes but also I think that for it will be I believe the maybe for the the movie wise and all of that they can reference those movies and use footage of that and I think that will help especially the casual fans to watch this series but that's my review for the rings of power the first two episodes now on amazon prime so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button consider subscribing to the channel and like always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye